If I wanted to apply hypervoxels to the surface of this object, uh, what I could do is I could go over to Control F6 for the volumetrics tab and add hypervoxels. I'm going to double click and just move this over here. And for uh, for what I want to apply my hypervoxels to, I'm just going to double click on box. It's going to automatically set the object type to surface. That's default. Let's go ahead and do an F9 render. And we can see that for every point on the object, it's placing a surface voxel. I'm going to go ahead and size that down some and do another render. Okay. And let's do something other than gray. I'm going to just come over to shading and pick blue just so it shows up. And there we go. Okay. So what if I want to have them randomly on the surface? Well, I could go and add segments to the box, but it's going to be this uniform pattern where the segments are because it's going to place them where the points are. So if I want to randomly place it, there's a few ways that I can go about doing it. But uh, one way I thought we could take a look at is using a, uh, a, a seldom used tool over in Modeler, and we'll take advantage of it um, for randomly placing the voxels on this box. So I'm going to hop over to Modeler and with the um, with this box in this layer I'm going to go over to multiply subdivide more and choose random pricks and I can decide how many points I want to add to to my box here I'm going to go ahead and well let's just use the default 100 so it randomly places points on the geometry uh, and don't worry about the extra um, segments in there. They're not going to render unless you want them to. We could turn edges on for rendering, but uh, it's not going to change the look of the render, but we've got all these extra points. Let me just go to point mode. We've got all these extra points to work with. So let's see what this looks like over in layout. So I'm going to synchronize, come over to layout, do a render. Ah, look at this. I've randomly placed uh, voxels on my on my box. If I want, I can go back over to the geometry tab and just increase this okay increase the size and now uh, they're kind of mixing together they're they're blending together but they're random it, it's not the same as going over and adding segments I've randomly added points and if I turn off voxels I just want to do a quick render you can't tell that it's got those extra points because remember points don't render so this is one way of going, I'm going to turn that back on and just reduce the size a little bit. Um, this is one way of quickly adding random points to your object uh, where it won't, it won't affect rendering, but it can help with things like hypervoxels to randomly place these voxels on the surface. And again, that's over in Modeler under Multiply, Subdivide, More, Random Pricks.